hi guys uh, welcome back again to click replicate tutorial so in this tutorial I'll show you the replication from many to one data source that means multiple tables will be merged together or joined together and will be stored in a single data source as you can see these are the two different data sources which will be joined together and will be transformed and then it will be inserted to a single data source so let's begin with as you can see these are two different data sources so in order to uh, make those both source table join together and to replicate into the destination table the source table should have a primary key and foreign key they should be joined together based on that key and in the destination table also that should be a primary key which will identify the column so let's get into the sql server and see how the data resides in the table in the sql server we have two tables reason one and reason two both the table structures are identical to each other as you can see but the data in both the tables are different one two three and another table we have another different set of records in the reason two tables we have same one two three uh, customers but the customer names are different this will invite a problem if these two tables reason one and reason two will join together and insert in the target table because in the target table we have primary key and ideally primary key do not allows multiple values with the same uh, name let's say one two three one two three so multiple repetitive values will not be allowed in the primary key so to avoid such kind of conflicts i'll just add the reason code along with the customer key which will make distinct to each customer key and let's get into the utility replicate to do so we'll apply such a transformation that each customer key will be unique so in the click replicate the first thing what we have to do is the manage connections so we have to create two source connection region one and source connection region two now my target database will be reason all which will hold the data of reason one and reason two let's go to the transformation i'm going to search find the customer table and validate it to my task once you've done that i'm going to go to the table setting this is where i'll do the table label transformation and i'll add a column and then i'll name it as a reason code and then i'll make it a primary key and then go over to the reason 2 and do the same thing and book my source here and select my table customer table i am going to say okay to that then i'll go to the table transformation and then i'll add the same reason code and make it primary key over here and let's go to import the key concept and go to transformation and modify these two tables and i have to transform so i'll give the name as cus key and we have to set a default value so in the reason code go to the formula editor and then i'll set it at two and go to the reason one and here in the table setting and here in the transformation go to the reason key and formula editor again here i'll define as reason code as one 
and how significant if you remember both the disk databases are identical primary key that is present uh, customer code is one two three and customer two is one two three and and here if i just uh, export then it will be one one two one three for reason code and for reason two records two two and uh, two three like that now in the table uh, settings i'll go to the full load and over here here i'll see uh, that if the target is already exist I have to make it as drop everything and create a new table because it is coming from the single source so here I'm not going to do is do nothing if there would be any data in the destination it will not do anything here okay so let's not do anything and click ok and go to the region 2 and do the same thing go to the full setting full load setting and then do nothing if the target is already exist and then save save region 1 and save region 2 and then reload target and as you remember you have three loads region 1 and then Region 2 and it will go to the full region okay and then reload the target it will just reload the full row of the region 2 so this time let's go to the change set processing and see what things are getting inserted and updated so if you have a unique primary key in the target this process you can do the segregation of the keys and you can insert the same type of data in the destination okay so here we are back to the sql server management studio and we will see how the tables in the tables the data are being populated so let's see right click and select top records now you see there's a cus key one and the reason code is added and two it is one three it is one and again for cus key one two three it is two 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 so if you consider this unique this cus key with the reason code then it is one one two one three one and again one two 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 three two right and if i'll do the changes this way like in the reason two let's say uh, change the name and one two three again i'll add one more for uh, row was five and then see uh, again the data has been changed and if it is cost key is five the reason code is added against that is two So, so even if it is a cost key is a duplicate, a reason code will be distinct, which will uniquely identify each record as distinct. And the second most important thing is to set the task to do nothing. So, if you just do it overwrite, it will truncate the existing data in the destination table so you have to always select the destination as do nothing so thank you so much and with this it concludes this video of replicating the data from the multiple sources to a single source thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye